team's performance and of your performance? Uh, I thought we got better today. Uh, coming off of practice one this morning and then coming into a live uh, game situation, uh, I thought we did some great things on both offensive, uh, on the offensive side and the defensive side. Can you just tell us a couple things maybe that happened during the on the offensive side of the ball since we didn't see any of it? Yeah, yeah. Um, we got in some some third long situations and and fought our way back out of uh, out of those. Uh, we we converted on a one minute situation. Uh, did some did some good things in some situational uh, uh, football style. So uh, I mean I, I'm excited with where we're where we're at and, and the progression we can make. How much did they divvy up the one reps? Were you pretty much exclusively with the ones? Everybody was uh, split up. Um, I I wouldn't be able to tell you who got more reps. I think think it was pretty even. Just happy you guys were kind of challenged this week uh, from, from Butch and from Coach Shake. Just do you feel like you guys responded as a quarterback unit tonight? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we'd been missing some uh, some of the easy throw and catch. They'll say pitch and catch uh, balls that that are, are normally completed. So uh, uh, I think it would just require a little bit more focus, uh, a little bit more time with the receivers, and, and we, we've got it corrected. And uh, I mean, the coaches have faith in us that we can make all the throws. So. Uh, we just got to go out there and, and execute. Were you surprised that you guys maybe weren't able to complete some of those easy throws right off the start here in camp? Uh, I mean, coming off of summer where we don't throw against a live defense or anything like that, um, it does take a few days to get your get your timing back, get, getting back on uh, on rhythm against a press defense or things like that. So uh, I wouldn't say I was surprised <clears throat> completely, but uh, I mean, it, it's going to happen occasionally. Who made some of the big plays tonight? Uh, I, everybody stepped up. I tell you, the offensive line did a great job uh, picking up some some odd looks that our, our defense has uh, started to put in. Um, Pig got a couple big catches. Josh Smith played well. Um, Jalen Hurd, Marlon Lane, Devin Young all ran the ball well. Um, I mean, overall, I thought it was a pretty good night for the offense. Coach Shannon said he thought you had you know showed some nice things out there today. How do you rank your play tonight, specifically individually for yourself? Uh, I, once again, I missed a few throws that I, I would have liked to have back. Um, but overall, I thought I thought I managed the offense pretty well uh, in some of the situations. Uh, I mean, there's always room for improvement. I just got to go watch the film now and, and correct some of the little things. Just you guys finished the spring making a lot of kind of splash, explosive plays. Mm -hmm. They have been slow starting. Is that just adjusting back to having a lot of defense or, or what, what do you think is going on to prevent you guys from making some of the plays you're making the teams for? I think some of it comes with our install. Uh, day one's always pretty base and we start getting more and more into the offense. Um, once again, we, we got to get back on the same page. Uh, I know we threw all summer, but like I said, it takes some time to see Emmanuel Mosley out there in press coverage. So uh, just getting back on the same page and uh, just Getting back in rhythm with everybody. How much of your normal offense did you guys work on? Is there, is there, are you just guys working on a small sample size for the first scrimmage? How much did you guys work on? Uh, I mean, we have, well, I think today was day eight or so. Um, we got eight days of install in, so uh, that's a lot of pass concepts and different runs. So uh, it wasn't like it was a base day. We did some, some uh, diverse things out there. So uh, I, I mean, you can expect to see more out of uh, out of our offense. Uh, On the flip side, what did the defense show you? How complex were they? Uh, like I said earlier, they, they start throwing in uh, some odd looks, some three down linemen, running a bunch of linebackers around. So uh, it's hard to see sometimes, but uh, Coach Jansen does a good job working on these guys, dis disguising things. But uh, uh, they're. Once again, they, they still have stuff to add into. Everybody talks about the speed on defense that they're trying to improve. From your vantage point, can you see that speed and athleticism improve from last year and maybe even the spring? Yeah, uh, I mean, we brought in some young guys that can that can fly around. Uh, Emmanuel Mosley's playing really well out corner right now. He's he's a tough guy to throw against, I'll tell you that, uh, which is exciting. And it's, it's good to see the competition that he brings out for our wide receivers and things like that. Uh, I'm not knocking anybody else, but uh, he's just a guy that's caught my eye so far. Um, like I said, we brought in some new guys that, that, that have started flying around. What makes him tough specifically? He's physical, even though he's a little undersized in terms of weight. Uh, he's physical. He'll get in your face and, and jaw with you a little bit. He, he's gotten in a couple of our receivers' heads uh, a couple of days, but uh, 
I mean, he plays with a chip on his shoulder that that's exciting to see. Talk about being able to throw to those talented freshman tight ends now and having a little bit more depth at that position to help you out. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, it opens up so much more for us uh, in the run and pass game. Uh, having guys like Ethan Wolf and Daniel Helm and Alex Ellis and um, Brendan Downs back healthy. So uh, it, it just adds an extra element to our offense.